you're watching this, you were probably not able to attend the Alberta Parkland District Conference. I'd like to give a brief summary so you're up to date on what happened. The weekend actually started off with a major disruption. Our guest speaker, uh, Terry Kaufman, who is the leadership catalyst for the EFCC, was stuck in an airport on Friday night and unable to make it for the first session where he was supposed to speak. With the motion of the delegates at conference Friday night, we were able to move the agenda around and we did half of the business Friday night so that we could give Terry his three speaking engagements all on Saturday. So Friday night, we covered the, the reports of both from our, our district board and from the National Home Office. If you are interested in those reports, they've been emailed to your church and you can read them at your own time. Saturday morning, our guest speaker was present and able to speak with us. And uh, throughout the conference in his three speaking engagements, uh, Terry focused on helping us to remember who we are as the EFCC and how who we are gives us a real strength in bringing the mission of the gospel into the current Canadian one of the highlights of the conference for me was the National Listening Post. Our National Board Chairperson, uh, Sean Wick, was able to attend our conference and we gave him an hour where he could uh, present a, a proposed constitutional change to the EFCC, have us have a careful look at it, answer any questions and understand it, and then we went into roundtable discussions where we recorded uh, all of our various uh, pushback and what we liked about it and how how this proposal could be changed or improved. And I'm, I'm really grateful for Sean for coming. Uh, and he stayed the whole weekend to get to know our people and, and interact with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We, of course, finished our business sessions on Saturday. And uh, one of the main things we discussed was the budget and how in 2022 we did close on a little bit of a deficit. Giving's not quite up to where it was pre-pandemic, and expenses are pretty much as lean as we can make them without drastically changing the way we do our district work. And so the budget was passed with a slight increase, and what that means for your church is that we're asking for $60 per attender per year for the district budget. We also had our elections and there's a bit of turnover on the board this year, which is really good to get new ideas and new people into the leadership of our district. And then to close off our business session, our chairman, Dale Racher, and myself uh, led a presentation on church planting. We, we presented the idea that our vision and mission for the APD is focused on church planting. And uh, we, we feel it's time to begin to Turn the page on managing the last few years and get back uh, focused on our mission. So those are the highlights from the conference. We had a good time. The best part of the conference was in between we, all of these uh, official things where we had lots of time to sit around at tables and, and meet each other in the hallways and, and just converse and get to know each other. Again, I really thank the Sexsmith uh, Grace Bible Fellowship for hosting us. They did an amazing job. And we'll see you next year.